Duolingo, an educational language learning app. The one that's run by the, uh, that bird, the evil bird that's planning to take over the world, some crazy scheme. We don't know what he's plotting, but we know it's some world-ending event because that bird is definitely plotting some world-ending taking over event. So anyway, sometimes that bird likes to say some really weird things that make you go even more to the point that he is plotting some evil scheme to take over the world. So welcome to the weirdest thing said by the Duolingo app that, that do really prove the fact that the bird is playing an evil world-ending event. I'm Emily and welcome to the video. a language learning app the traditional sentences will be like hello my name is uh where is the bathroom um can i have a water please um uh where is the zoo i don't know um where where is the beach how hot is it today is it cold you know the, these kind of sentences starters these kind of sentences starters but but duolingo and then probably some more language learning apps but especially duolingo like to um really go out there with their sentences um so yeah welcome to the weirdest thing sent by a crazy evil bird i've said i mentioned the bird evil quite a lot of times just like just just so you're you're you're, you're aware and you're ready for, for for um for the day when i don't know he um he, he opens he shows the world as like vault it takes over like all the tv channels and shows everyone his vault that he's been hiding in all these years and he just goes it's time and then and then and then the screen and then the screen like all freezes and this here all the tv screens freezes and then you look out your window and you see the sky is all turned gray and what you see is a like weird like giant robot her, her covering towards you going Aah! you didn't do your little lessons like that so um i just probably read some rasters really instead of talking about instead of talking about some evil birds yeah we're starting off with what i want to call the apple saga i don't even know does this class a saga i'm taking it as a saga <clears throat> excuse me i am not an apple excuse me i am an apple to you know it just um it's like that that early 2000s show Oogly's. If you know Oogly's, where they used to just put googly eyes on random objects and used to be alive. I think they got the idea from that. You know, the apple goes, I'm an apple. And then a pair goes, I'm not an apple. Or maybe just like annoying orange. Hmm, don't know why I thought of Oogly's first when I read this. It just came to mind, Oogly's. Well, they probably more likely got it from Annoying Orange, from Orange, from Apple going, I am an apple, then Orange going, I'm not an apple, ha 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 ha, the weird laugh he does. Hmm, yeah, very, very, I, I just, I wonder the context behind that. Is the apple and non-apple people friends? Are they like enemies? Is there like some battle, war going on between them? Um, are, are they related? They're like siblings or something? Is just some like some sibling bickering or something between this? And they're like, I want to be the apple in the game. Well, I'm the apple in the game. Is it like that? Hmm. What is the context between the apple saga? I'm calling it a saga. This this apple fiasco. That's the word fiasco, isn't it? That one. I don't really know what it means, but I think that's like the situation of this apple event. Appley, uh, appley, uh, apple. Apple. You're glad I, I talked about this. Maybe, yes. <laughs> Next one. More concerning than the apple conversation. <clears throat> the baby wants to drink beer. And, um, I could see the scenario of this, say a family having a meal and one of the parents has ordered a beer. And then the baby is sitting up in a tie chair and is going, and it doesn't know the difference between the apple juice and the beer, and is going, ha, 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 that one. And it's the beer and goes, ah, uh, and then the family go, whoop, no, you don't want to have that today. That will, that will make your undeveloped insides go, go even more undeveloped. <laughs> I think that's what was happening, yeah. Yeah. That was happening. That, that's just what was happening. Hmm. Don't give babies beer. <laughs> I think that's what we learned from that. From that, maybe that was even more. What was it? What was that? It's an educational statement in an educational game. Don't give babies beer. <laughs> that's amusing. Now we have another like random statement. When I was younger, I was not allowed to wear pants. Hmm. Why? Why? 
Why though? Why no pants? Why why pantsless? Why why? What's the context of this pant pantless scenario? Did they, did they, did the family just burn pants or something? Are they pants pants arsonists? Pants arsonists maybe? Maybe they just don't really don't like. Maybe they own a uh, maybe they own a, a big skirt franchise. And they go, you are not wear anything that's not a skirt in this household. As long as you're part of this family, no, no, no pan, no, no pant antics allowed here, because of our infamous skirt franchise. I think that's it. Yeah. And now we have one. This may be the last one, depending how long this video is, <laughs> about a celebrity. This one's about celebrity people. <clears throat> Bonnie is a dinosaur. Yes, he is. And I'm. I and I clap for Bonnie. Well done. And so am I. And so am I, my friend. Can you even... So am I. I'm like Barney. I'm Barney 2.0. I'm Barney 2.0. There we go. Barney the... Uh, what's his song? Had, um, um, oh, it's something about f friends or family, isn't it? Is this the Barney song? La, 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 la. We are fa It's not that one. It's, it's it's just it's not that one. That's from like the nineties. Well, Barney's probably start. Barney's harder than the nineties. Barney's funny. Can I? Can I? I could be the next. Bo I I have. I'm a dinosaur as well. Like Barney. <laughs> I want to keep this up now because it's funny. It's just funny being a <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> so Barney, Barney the dinosaur. Great one. The great celebrity is famous. Is basically is famous. <laughs> What a good dinosaur Barney is. Yeah. Good job, Barney the dinosaur. Hope you have a great day. Says Star, but all these safe picture screenshots, not not I, I want to say NFT, they're not NFTs. They, they, these are just these are just pictures. Nice, healthy environment, loving pictures. I don't know, I could just say a picture really, so the nice, happy environment, loving pictures. We're taken from strange Duolingo strange Twitter accounts. Um the account on the screen would have been on screen or still is, who knows? Turns out long decided to keep it on the screen bar. So thank you, Duolingo Strange Twitter account. Thumbs up. <laughs> your, your account is funny. Very funny. <laughs> that was some of the strangest things said by Mr. Duolingo Bird. I don't know if that's his name. I went to say Hootie and an owl, but I then realised that's the owl house and one of them's one of them Hootie. Hootie's Hootie's a house. Worm. House worm. Houseworm. Uh, houseworm owl. Houseworm owl. He's a houseworm owl, but he's not owl, but he hoots, but he's a owl. If you haven't watched the Owl House, try and do explain what hoots he is. Not the easiest thing. <laughs> so, out of all them, what's my favourite? Hmm. I like the, um, excuse me, I am an apple, he is not an apple. Was it, was it, he is, is an apple, he is not an apple. I like that. I, li I like the whole apple thing going on. That was very amusing. Also, just Barney as a dinosaur, because well done, King. Well done, Barney, you little pebble guy. But the apple one is the best, though. I'm not... Excuse me, he's an apple. Excuse me, I'm an apple. <laughs> so, yeah, so, if you enjoyed the video, people... Also, I really enjoyed these doing these, like, talking ones. Like, last time with the film one, this time with this lingo one. These are really fun to do. These are, like, up there with the favourite playlist. So, yeah, so... I'm doing a little dance right now. I don't know why. So, yeah, so, if you enjoyed the video, people, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow Twitter, ask Emily to underscore, and the Twitch, Emily Rose Live, and... I'll see you next time, people. Bye. Bye. Dinosaur. Bye.